Hi there, Leos. You guys, thank you all ever so much for joining me for your timeless love reading. We are doing a Trinity spread, so I'm using channel message, the row message, and oracle message all together to see what comes up for us in a rows of three. So I'll call it the Trinity spread, okay? So let's see what we come up with, regardless of your situation, whether you are in a situation or you've been married for the last decade, it doesn't really matter. See what resonates with you, apply your own discernment, and if it doesn't, of course, resonate with you, remember it's not going to resonate with everybody. So, <sighs> what are you going to so the first message or the channel message we'll start with I'm used to getting my way, but you put me in my place. I mean, you don't really mess around with a Leo, do you? Let's be honest. So, whoever's been trying to potentially play games with you, um, whoever's been trying to, um, maybe act all nonchalant and egoistical and bossy well you just kind of decided to give them the taste of their own medicine here leo so but this person is pretty much saying right now uh, they are used to get, it, get they are used to getting their own way but then again leo you're used to getting your own way as well so uh like you you are the professional you've got a phd in getting your own way so we have this King of Wands energy. So somebody around you could be between the ages of 25 to 35. Strawberry, blonde hair, green eyes, lighter complexion. Doesn't have to be. This is a card of Sagittarius. This is also a card of somebody who is a player, right? Because the Knight of Wands is like the knight in shining armor. But he doesn't really like to stick around, does he? Let's be honest. He doesn't like to... Um... One second, I forgot one of the decks. Um... As somebody who's here for the fun time, not a long time, we know this. Uh, you might be dealing with somebody who's at a distance from you. you. Might be dealing with somebody who is younger than you at the moment, Leo. This person is very flamboyant. They are. Uh, what is that doing in here? Look at that releasing, letting go, moving on, walking away. So some of you, well, cards come in for a reason, and although we're gonna use this deck again, but. I feel like at the moment you may be in a situation where you're trying to let go of something. You might be in a situation where, where you're moving on or walking away from somebody or somebody's doing that when it comes to you. So let's see how this reading progresses. There's going to be quite a few cards being drawn out. Then we're going to get some more, but we've got feelings. Someone around you who didn't think they're going to catch feelings for you because they didn't take it seriously has ended up catching feelings for you. Because you potentially put them in their place, right? So uh, there is uh, an essence of beautiful feelings. You both remedy each other, if that makes sense. So but with this Knight of Wands energy, maybe it all started from physical flow or intima intimacy. And then you kind of call um, feelings for one another. So, of course, again, see what resonates with you. Um, whether that was at the beginning of the connection or is happening as we speak. This person says, I miss your voice, your laugh, your humor, your touch. I'm in my feelings today. So if you haven't necessarily heard from this person at this given time, rest assured that they have been heavily thinking about you. They are really missing you. Um, with that Knight of Wands energy, it's like they want to take action. And we do have this Ten of Pentacles suggesting that this person does see decades long commitment with you whether that's somebody who didn't want to take you seriously and now all of a sudden they do um there has been some lies and deception i'm not gonna lie because you've got the seven of seven of swords energy at the bottom of the deck this is lurking in the past this is deception someone thought they're gonna get away with some stuff right so it could be that you know uh some your person deceived you in one way shape form or the other doesn't always have to be there was a third party involved or they've done something behind your back it could have been lies about money could have been lies about their profession, family, they've done something they shouldn't have done. I don't know what the situation is. Again, see what resonates with you. But I feel like this person lied where they realize you detached and you're loving yourself. And they can see that you are prioritizing yourself and you're prioritizing your family. And this is the, this is the reason why this person is feeling more in need of having your energy because you're withdrawing your energy. This is how the this is how the energy works. You know, we repel and we attract, but you know, when you move on. Um, from your person when you're not giving in to their energy then they can feel the void they're like wow I wonder what this person is doing and they're no longer thinking about me because I can't really feel their presence around anymore and you know maybe I shouldn't have done this and I shouldn't have done that so the ten of pentacles like this person actually whoever you're dealing with they appreciate how you always choose yourself how you are so confident how you are very family oriented how you are a go-getter how you are stable um, I feel like you never relied on anyone to provide your stability, but stability has always been around you, Leo. 
I'm going crazy without you. I want to see you so bad. Who are you teasing here? Like, who are you teasing? Why are you not seeing this person? Something's happened here for sure. Don't know if it was because of the lies. Because, you know, Leos, they do wear their heart on their sleeve. And the problem is, um, we are loyal. But do the people return the amount of loyalty that we can give? Sometimes it's not possible. Some people are just not even competent to achieve the amount of loyalty that we can give as leos then you got the seven of um seven of ones energy i feel like some of you are even keeping this person at bay that's how they're feeling about you right now you are deterring away from this person because the seven of ones he, this person is keeping everyone at an arm's length they're fighting their ground and i feel like you are fighting for yourself you are fighting for your boundaries so whatever this individual has done to you right now you are no longer getting involved you are no longer answering the calls. You are no longer listening to what they have to say. They did what they did and you got to do what you got to do and that's avoiding them right now. This is where I'm feeling. If this is not situ your situation, and of course this reading is not for you, but I feel like you know that you have the upper hand in the situation. Whatever has resulted between you and your person, you know that you have the upper hand in this situation here. So uh, turning your back. Maybe because your person had a sex addiction. It doesn't have to be they were actually sleeping with a multitude of, of various people. It could be uh, addiction to P-O-R-N. It could be addiction to some type of perversion that, you know, you didn't really feel um, ready to deal with. It could have been something they done they shouldn't have done. Uh, like, I don't know, you opened a gallery and you found loads of pictures of the exes that they were still looking at and that could be it you know for some of you it doesn't have to be of course see how it resonates again but again you turned your back and you're fighting your ground with this person you're not speaking to them because of potentially because of that sex addiction as simple as here it is a very specific message but it will resonate resonate with the select few someone just can't keep it in their pants or they couldn't especially with that night one energy because they're young because they're immature because this is they, they they like to get their own way and their own way was just sexual innuendos and pleasing themselves because they just have a load of this virile energy this is you're not about that life you're about marriage you're about children you're about growing together evolving together and that person just wanted one thing and one thing only potentially you, you, you said no that's not for me <laughs> That is not for me. They know you've turned your back up. I mean, you don't need to verbalize. You don't need to just your silence is the answer in itself. I look at my phone every day hoping I would see a message from you. So I don't know how many days has passed because it's every day they've been hoping to see a message from you here. I'm sorry I put my career before you. I'm trying to get out of debt. I'm willing to put in time and effort now because I don't want to lose you. I feel like it could be also this person was just uh, too money oriented, too focused on making them something out of themselves in their career. Or they feel like maybe now since they lost you, you're not talking to them that they were that they were working too many hours potentially as well. And now they're realizing she I should have maybe focused on my connection more. Than what I was focusing on when it comes to career, when it comes to sorting out my debt, sorting out my criminal records coming up as well. So see what resonates. Look, you've got the page of pentacles. Yeah, this person is somebody who is very financially immature, infantile. Again, if you are dealing with somebody who's younger or has younger mentalities than you, or they're just not as well acquired financially, then this has caused friction between the both of you as well because they felt always emasculated or put down by you in that way, but it's nothing to do with you again. Um Page of Pentacles could also talk about the fact that this person is really expecting some type of platonic message from you. They may be not expecting you pro professing on dying love for this for them, but they're hoping to hear from you. Or they're hoping to get bad news. And to them at this moment in time, the bad news will be you saying, listen, I want nothing to do with you. This person is praying right now. Faith, healing and meditation. This person is definitely praying right now to resolve this. Help a lover. They're praying. Some, they're, so some of your your person could be very close to God or they're repenting themselves right now. Maybe they found God because they found you and you made them open their eyes to God as well or spirituality, whatever it may be. See what applies to you. You are so smart. You have figured me out. Again, as I said, no one messes around with a Leo because... 
you know you may act like you're nice but some people do take your uh kindness and niceness for a weakness but you're not you're you're, you're an apex predator leo you observe how people move how they shift how, what they're about you probably had this person figured out before they thought you had them figured out and even some things if you didn't know about them you expected something just didn't maybe feel right maybe things came out the way you didn't expect them to come out something come out about this person you didn't expect it to come out that way but there was something maybe that you just couldn't trust especially with that seven of swords energy that we saw come up before you didn't want to let them in close to you too soon maybe this person was telling you they love you too soon this person was telling you they want to be with you they want to marry you, and just something felt off because there was some notion of notion of ingenuity within this because they were lying about something See the King of Wands. Um, I presume with a fellow fire sign, Leo in particular here. Um, this situation may have taken place between July 22nd to August the 22nd of 2020. Wait. Oh my, you might have met that person at this specific time. Or well, done something with this person at this specific time. So see what resonates with you. <sighs> Maybe the situation has been stemming from around July to August time as well. Whatever you found out about them. And you've got the spiritual gifts card. Again, I feel like this spiritual gifts card is talking whether when I said this person is meditating, praying, you have really um, opened their eyes to spirituality, to religion, to... They start as soul searching. So you have really triggered some type of spiritual ascension in this person, some type of religious reawakening. Which is a good thing because now they found purpose in their life. And although they thought that purpose was you, but really for them, the purpose was to find themselves. You do have that tendency to trigger people off in their path. I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. So if this person has even detached from you themselves and say they don't care and let's end it or you broke up with them or so let's end it and they were happy to hear it. Rest assured right now they're not happy at all. Right. So they could have they have this uh, very pronounced ego here so i don't know as i say if you might be dealing with a fixed sign a fire sign again leo no other signs thus far had came up but this person's uh, ego is prevailing at this very moment in time they feel they're right and if you decided if it was you leo telling them you can't do this anymore you want to break up they just said yeah that's fine i don't really care because you know their ego was just they're too proud they're too stubborn they're just too egoistical at times with the moon energy if you have suspected there's more to the story than they have let you let you on or there's something that wasn't clear for you rest assured there's more to it there's a lot that um sorry i just got a hay fever the pollen is really high in the uk at the moment and just ignore me but nonetheless um pisces energy i might be dealing with a pisces but also this person has a lot of things lurking beneath the surface mental health they may be suffering from mental health right now but mostly um i feel like this person's mental health is very fragile no doubt right now but also when he says i'm ready to come clean i can't um, lose you again i feel like if you had more questions that you feel like this person should answer uh maybe that that chat will be taking place if this is something you're willing to indulge in um the moon energy is not very concise energy it's very murky energy a lot is hidden beneath the surface here there's something hidden about this person's psyche or persona that you wasn't aware of and it could be either again mental health again going back to some type of sex addiction done something they shouldn't have done i really don't know but trust me if something didn't feel right there is some more aspects of this person's persona that you may not necessarily um appreciate or find or be able to comprehend in a way that they do there were things that they were hiding from you no doubt it goes deep so deep it's just so intertwined it could be stemming from their childhood or some incidents that may have taken place in their childhood that they that may have predominantly um resulted in them having let's say again sex addiction addiction to pure rn gambling illicit substance abuse over drinking whatever it may be they have some demons they need to address they need healing they need jesus baby love hate 
you know, maybe at times you did feel like this person hates you. At times, maybe you guys really were close and sometimes you were just at each other's throats and you thought, how can someone be so happy? But then how can we hate each other at times so much? So I feel like at this moment in time, there was a lot of love, but you might be in the phase of hate. But hate because of circumstances. I'm only staying here for my kids. Nothing else. I'm making my way out. Well, again, might be dealing with a tragic involvement for sure. Some of you might be dealing with somebody who's been over-promising and under-delivering where they said they are going to leave their children. Um, you, you may have met them because they had a sex addiction and they couldn't stay within, committed within their family as well. So there is a lot of different scenarios and a lot of different complexities. But I feel like... If it is your spouse you, what we're talking about here, this person may have been staying with you just because of the children, but beware, or either the other way around, and there could have been some type of manipulation taking place because of the children. Be careful because something could have happened to your children, or you feel like something could have happened to your children. You need to really get to this, to the nitty gritty of that. By the moon energy, I mean, nothing bad, but it could be like, you know... Um, you trusted your person to take care of your children and they neglected and went to meet the other person whilst your children were in their care or they were drinking or smoking in front of your children. So um, Leo energy again. But I feel like yeah, there's a lot of involvement, something to do with the kids. There's massive attachment to the kids. So if your person is with somebody else, they are staying there for the children and this is not going to change at least until July 22nd, talk of the 22nd of 2024 for you, although this is a timeless reading, but... Left to hang in, no closure, no contact, left or read. Either you left this person hanging and you chose yourself, or this person has left you hanging again, see what resonates with you, um, because they had chosen their children, their family, or they were just too coward to um, make changes or adequate changes in their life. They're just too complicit and too stuck in their um, comfortability. All right, let's get the last. It is a big situation taking place here. A lot of different things playing into this, Leo. And it's very complex and I am sorry I have to go through this. I'm sorry to panic. It's been so long since I've seen you or heard your voice. So on the flip side, if this is a no contact situation or you have cut somebody off, uh, they are shitting themselves. I'm not going to lie. This person is becoming very, very scared that you have actually walked away for good. And I feel like in some cases, yes, you have walked away for good because you're not going to really set your boundaries lower than they should be anymore because you've been doing that all your life and you're done with it. You are your number one. You are your top priority, not somebody else. Someone soon is, someone is going to communicate that pain with you soon. So if this person, if you like, has been trying, avoiding you, some, someone's going to communicate with you out of the pain that they're going through right now. <laughs> There's a lot of sorrow and grief in somebody's heart. It could be your own heart. You, you know, you're sorrowful. You've been crying. You've been staying up at night or you're sleeping too much or you're just not functioning like you should be functioning. Your mental health is just feel like you have no energy and then you try to do things and then you just find no motivation and it's all because of this whole palaver of a situation taking place and someone's definitely going to come come forward towards you because of the pain that they're experiences, experiencing without the presence of you in their life right now so it is quite a difficult stage both of you are at regardless even if you are acting happy and you decided to walk away and you think it's the right thing deep down you are sad because you were you are thinking about what could it have been right what it could have been how good Good was it it was good it felt right it felt like it could, it could have lasted until you both got old until you're both you know then we've got side hustle i feel like a lot of you will actually your person has massive regress and side hustle could be talking about the fact that your person is going to pertain to uh working harder because now they've got more time as you guys are not dealing with each other it's actually encouraging you to take up a side hustle to have uh, set several um income sources leo let's see a couple channel messages from your person to further I'm afraid to contact you. See, it's just they are scared to contact you, but because of so much pain they're in, they they will have no choice but to contact you. And I feel like at this moment in time, you're not necessarily too bothered whether they are going to contact you or not, Leo. <laughs> 
I knew exactly what I was doing. So if you feel like if your person has been trying to um, make excuses and say they didn't know what was what and they're sorry they did what they did, but, you know, it was out of their hands, uh, that's not the case. And there's more yet for you to find out. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. It was hard for you too, Leo, right? It was hard for you too to let this go. You were settled. You were for once happy. I wonder if you are happy without me. This person, yeah, they do wonder. Are you happy, Leo? Of course you're not happy, but you're putting on a brave face. How hard is it to go in front of people who work with your family and smile and say you're doing all good and then deep down you're dying inside and smiling through the tears? It was my fault, but blamed you. I feel like there was a lot of projection taking place or a bit of narcissistic trait where they were blaming you for certain things or saying it's not their fault or they're trying to act a victim as well. And you didn't really, you see, you sort through them. You didn't take that victim mentality all in too well. Uh, I feel you even though we are apart. So this person does, just being near you is intoxicating. This person really wants to come to you, Leo. This person really wants you around. You meant a lot to them. You mean a lot to them. I'm sure they still mean a lot to you. So whether you guys work this out or you're not, it's entirely up to you. Um, if it can be worked out, it's not a bad connection. It can be a long-lasting connection. But it's been hard. <laughs> it's been a fucking hard, long road for you. And no one gets, no one understands it. No one. No one understands it because, again, because you have to be the strong one. You can't be the one to break down and cry. And this is the most annoying thing about Leo because you just can't break down and cry. Like, you've been through so much. And, um, you know, why are you so kind to others? I saw this quote today. It says, why am I so kind to others? And then the next slide says, because I don't want another person to go through what I've been through. No. You don't. You don't want other people to. You probably what you've been through, Leo. You probably wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles: financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life. This is all you want: peace and contentment in life. Honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. So right now, family is of focus. Expansion of family, yes. Uh, this is what you want and if you feel like you're you you're bound to end up single forever this is not the case you are bound to end up in a very gregarious and uh, fulfilled um inherent family or create one for sure leo this is your destiny so don't don't disappoint yourself ten of swords the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both the opportunity for new happiness. A weight of your shoulders, the end of an addiction, a melodramatic reaction. Maybe if you like a person you were with might have been triggering addictive behaviours in you as well. And it's a good thing they're not around at the moment. Managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give or receive money, time or emotions. Smart business decisions, seeing things as black and white, being charitable and to your swords. Being unable or, unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem over analysing a situation. Don't pretend that you're okay when things are not okay, Leo. Stop acting like the big apex predator that you are because even those break down. The people you can talk to, talk to them. Um, let's see, three more cards. What's the outcome for this love situation for Leo, please? What is the outcome? Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share if you enjoy this conflict. Clashing differences in compatibility. There could be some more clashing coming with this person. There could be some more feuds to be had. There could be some more arguments to be had. Don't get involved. Walk away from it. There's no point anymore. There's no point to argue because it's going to escalate and you guys will never reconcile or you guys will never segregate peacefully, whichever way you want to go. What's the outcome for Leo? Open heart, receptive, empathy, vulnerable. Keep on open heart, regardless of what you've been through. Still believe in love. Don't give up on love. Time. Give it time. Waiting cycles and moments. One more. What's the, what's the outcome here for Leo? Please. Only you. Devoted, attached, and crave. 
whatever the situation, either you will end up with this person because they want only you or we're in time and with an open heart and being able to be vulnerable, get away from conflict and open yourself up to somebody who's really, really and truly going to be devoted to you. So thank you for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe and check out other readings.